Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Pokes Who Channeling the Guitar Ladder System. Hey, I'm playing this uh, Alvarez prototype. It's all solid wood. It's not all hand carved, but there's a lot of dialing in done by hand. It's solid wood. It's old treated wood. This is really a great sounding guitar. I had it up high. I'll, I'll do it for 2500 plus shipping. It, it sounds unbelievable, but anyway, um, I want to talk about improvisation. That's really the key. <laughs> Improvisation is really the key to, to growth. And uh, you know, every day you want to improvise and, and not be too hard on yourself, but just start off with any chord. That's really the whole purpose behind the guitar ladder system is you learn all these different ways uh, to resolve chords. Like I had a visual today while I was driving. Some, some, I mean, the guitar ladder system is probably one of the most difficult thing I've ever had to explain to anybody, except for when I invented the speed pick, which is now marketed by Dunlap. I have a letter on my wall from Les Paul telling me he likes it. That means a lot to me. When I tried to explain the speed pick to an investor before, before I even had the prototype, that was tough. I did it. Of course, it took seven years to get that product to market. But, uh, you know, sometimes it takes a 10,000 hour rule. But uh, I, I get these different ways of looking at the guitar ladder system. Today I was driving, going to get gas, and I started thinking about, let's say, you know, like another brick in the wall type thing, right? Like, let's say, let's say you're an artist and you're going to paint a picture but you're going to do it with like, say, you know, five, six, seven hundred bricks on a wall. And each brick has a little piece of, of what you're trying to portray, whether it's a, you know, country landscape or a picture of, of people, you know, visiting or, you know, beautiful family or a scene of the mountains with trees, whatever it might be. Every little brick in that wall is going to have a little piece of the picture. And then when you, when you put it all together, you do you see the picture? It's kind of what the guitar ladder system is like. It's like every study is a little brick, a little a little piece of the wall, you know, except for what's really beautiful about it is with the guitar ladder system, you can then create the picture. You can then paint a musical painting, so to speak. I know Al Pacino talks about this. Um, I'm fascinated with actors. Like I, I, I do a lot of a lot of celebrity impersonations, but I'm fascinated with actors, especially when they talk about how they feel about their acting. And Al Pacino talks about, you know, he tries to find something in a character that he can resonate with and then he can paint off that. I think he was talking about, um, you know, his character in, uh, in, 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 in uh, I think it was either The Devil's Advocate or one of the movies, and he was saying he finds something, something in the character that he can kind of resonate with and relate to and then he paints off that, you know? It's really interesting. Um, but when you learn 
all the different ways of improvising, when you learn about different chord families. shoulder still I hurt my right shoulder and I'm pretty bad about four and a half months ago and it takes a long time to heal uh, as a jet going by it can t my doctor said it can take I hate going to the doctor by the way because they always find something wrong with you right <laughs> one time I hadn't gone for years and I finally I went to an eye doctor and they're like well we can't do the test and I hear them talking in the background and the lady comes out she goes well you know the good news is you're still kicking but you got cataracts need to have your eyes, eyes, eye surgery for cataract removal. By the way, if you have to have a cataract surgery, it's a walk in the park. It's, it's really not that big deal. It's just weird though, because your eyes are kind of, you know, sensitive little things, right? But anyway, it's all about, you know, every day you should improvise. And for those of you that are in the guitar ladder system, go back to cycle one and, you know, see what you can add to cycle one, you know? Uh, you can add like you know the, the major 13 flat 5 like cycle 2 and then cycle that down you know like minor 9 13 flat 5 minor 9 13 when you find something that works you want to do it all over the place minor 9 13 flat 5 minor 9 13 maybe go to major 7 did something there because I wasn't thinking about it so it just happened so that's, that's kind of nice minor 9 7 sharp 5 minor 9 major 13 flat 5 minor 9 major 13 flat 5 I know you probably can't see that but yeah that's okay you can see it in your mind's eye but minor 9 7 sharp 5 minor 9 find something that works you want to milk it minor nine major 13 flat five minor nine major 13 flat five minor nine and the more you improvise the better you get and sometimes improvisation like if you if you're improvising and you get stuck let's say you're playing and you get stuck on a minor seven you're like well, where can I go go to the first inversion then go to a dominant seven Dominants have the flat seven, seven sharp, five sharp, nine, thirteen, nine, thirteen, thirteen, flat nine. So you can always do that. Go to the and as you can see, the first inversion of the minor seven is the same as the major six. Every freaking chord, folks, has tons of different names. It all depends on the reference point. Doesn't really freaking matter. Here's another another six form or my, my major six form or minor minor seven. Well, there's a great form right there. That that form kicks you into a kind of a Joe Passy thing. I'm trying to talk about today is just everyday improvise and you know if you're not sure what to do I mean the, I'll get some super simple examples but they're all valid play one chord come down chromatic there you've improvised another great tool to remember when you're improvising is common tones take one tone Simplicity make you think something is invalid. Some of the, the biggest quantum leaps are from simplicity. And of course, you end up on a, on a diminished chord. Remember those that overdrank, fermented, or demolished. I don't drink at all, by the way. 
I think drinking really, really fucks up your musical uh, mind and your, and your energy level. Because there's some great, I don't want to mention any names, but there's some great players out there, thinking of one who's a jazz player who has a lot of knowledge, but no single note technique and no fire and no energy. And uh, you know, even great players like George Benson and, of course, Barati Legrand and... Uh, there's somebody else I want to mention. Oh, you want to see George Benson, Barada Legrand, Hal Demiola. Anyway, you end up on a end up on a on a diminished chord you move it minor thirds because it it becomes an inversion of itself. Then take that common tone. want to be improvising every day and like what I say when you find something that works you milk it like that's why I just love the sound of this so I do it all over the neck you know sometimes you end up somewhere okay maybe think in a valley major seven per imperfect force one of my cycles is like that and what happens eventually is this becomes more subconscious and you don't have when you're improvising you don't have to be thinking oh perfect force contrary motion polychords inversions you know it becomes a very subtle thought it becomes part of your art consciousness it becomes part of your musical guitar consciousness it's really a trippy thing um but it requires you know some work and that's why the guitar ladder system the guitar ladder system i swear to god the other day i was talking to some guy on the phone about it he ordered it and we both kind of agreed, yeah, it's like 10,000 bucks worth of stuff for 199. It's crazy. But I priced it low, so I'd sell them, you know. I get I get 100 bucks a lesson uh, for private. Some people have driven over 200 miles. I, I don't do as much private teaching anymore. Uh, but I mean, the guitar ladder system really is thousands and thousands of dollars of information for only 199. It's 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 a huge value. It's kind of my gift to the community. You kind of have to work it on your own. I can answer a few questions, but I can't answer questions on every study or I'd be on the computer 28 hours a day, you know? But, um, you know, it's 100 studies, 100 charts and video. I don't send it all at once. It's not valid that way. But you always want to improvise. is that if you really want to grow your musical consciousness, this is not bullshit. I've, I've taught a couple hundred students at least and seen results with this system. Um, if you really want to make a quantum leap and, and get, you know, discover talent that's almost like you were born into a more musical family. I know that sounds like bullshit, but it's not. I'm much too real to bullshit, especially about art, guys. I mean, music, music and guitar is my freaking life. 
It really is. You know, I live inside notes and chords and progressions and compositions, and I'm always working on a composition subconsciously or consciously or both. And, uh, you know, it's interesting, but, uh, you know, the guitar ladder system will give you that the understanding of the language of tension and resolution, how putting different chords together creates different kinds of tension and resolution. You learn to improvise. It's like learning the different words and different phrases, you know. It really works. And uh, I think most of you, and, and if you want, I, I don't like to brag about myself, but... Uh, I'm really proud of the fact that my CDs reviewed at Vintage Guitar Magazine. Just go to VintageGuitar.com, put in Steve Zook. I know what I'm doing, folks. If you can afford $1.99, I highly suggest you just go to SteveZookGuitars.com on the homepage. Scroll down, order it. If you order soon, you'll get some Horace Hatchet bonus material, which I send once we've laid a foundation. He uh, taught Howard Roberts when Howard Roberts was a young man in Arizona. Howard Roberts started... The Musicians Institute. Also, I'll, if you order soon, I'll enter you into a contest to win a free, you just got to pay shipping, win a free L5 size, size jazz guitar by Washburn. It's a 17 inch L5 jazz box. It sounds fucking great. But I love four chords. Every day, uh, you just learn. You just learn how to put a chord or two together in an interesting way. You're going to have massive growth. And then, of course, learning how to, you know, sometimes partials sound nice because they're real clean. You know, you just got three notes. And then you can go to something else. just going to run into tremendous growth on the guitar. And by the way, the guitar liner system is not genre specific. You know, a lot of people that, that know, I even run into people at the park that have heard about me through my YouTube channel or other people, whatever. They're, oh, you're a great jazz player. Well, thank you. But I like to think of myself as a composer. I do some kind of Michael Hedges style stuff. I do some flamenco -y kind of stuff. I do some Latin American kind of stuff. I do, you know, jazzy, I do fusion, I do a lot of different kinds of music because when you understand, when you understand the language of music, why restrict your painting, right? You know, why, you know, don't restrict what the universe or the one mind can write through you. So I always tell people, don't marry a genre. Do I love jazz? Fuck yes. Am I really into jazz? Fuck yes. <laughs> Am I really into fusion? Hell yes, you know. Uh, I just like... My whole thing when I was young was to see how far I could take all this, you know. Probably would have made a lot more money if I would have went into real estate or something, but I've done okay, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, if you really want to grow and really discover your unique musical point of view, as well, and it's not just that, but as well as learn the language of music and how, you know, it, it's learning how to play up and down your neck with chords that are really going to... Uh, really going to open up your musical ear, make your musical ear thirsty. If any of this is making any sense, don't fight it, folks. Just go to stevezookguitars.com, scroll down, invest. It's, we're only docking one ninety nine here. We're not docking bankruptcy, okay? And you're going to get back thousands of dollars of, of value. It's not bullshit. Because like when I used to teach a lot one-on-one, -on -one, you, you know, you get one study every time you come over. Well, you're going to get a hundred studies. 
but not all at once because she's not affected that way. Just love that harmonic, harmonic minor in the seven sharp five. No, I don't need to analyze it. I could, but you know what? It's all about getting it out of the conscious and into the subconscious. The subconscious is so powerful, and it's all about, you know, I mean, you still use your conscious mind for practice and things like that, but we're, we're seeding the subconscious mind to have tremendous growth, okay? Folks, I just want to talk about another brick in the wall and learning how to paint with music, learning how to compose, learning how to create. And don't get on, don't get like nervous about that because it's a natural part of who you are. You're a creative spiritual being. And if you, the reason you love music and guitar is because the whole freaking universe is music. The whole freaking universe is a sweet musical equation. It's a frequency domain. The whole universe is a free, it's a study in simplicity is what it is. I don't want to get off on that rap because I could talk forever. But, you know, uh, I think Plato even, Plato said a rock is frozen music. Everything is vibrating. Everything has a frequency. Everything has a unique waveform. Everything is humming. Everything is singing. And it's all working together. In fact, even Steve Howe said all is a chord, which I thought is so cool, you know. Anyway, anyway, if any of this makes any sense, just go to Steve. Uh, Steve's uh, guitars, scroll down the home page, invest in 199. You're really going to be glad. All you have to do is not, is do my, my studies. Don't think about it. Don't analyze it. Don't complicate it. Don't try to figure it out or analyze anything. Just do the studies and let it sink into your subconscious mind. Take the studies and try to add something to them. So we signal your subconscious mind to start comparing and contrasting. Do a little improvising every day, even if it's just, just as simple as, you know, moving, you know, something in chromatic. You can do, you know, uh, you can do one, six, two, fives if you want. talk about not being, you know, not marrying diatonic harmony, I'm not saying diatonic harmony isn't important. I'm just saying it's one little piece of a combo, of a combination plate, you know. I, I know Robin Williams used to say, yeah, it's one one taco short of a combination plate. <laughs> Robin Williams was so freaking funny. What a genius. Oh, well, kind of sad that he fell down, the, you know, because he had a couple diseases and stuff. But if you really want to make, you know, some real progress, on guitar, take my word for it, man. Invest the 199. It's not, stop buying so much freaking equipment. Invest 199 in the guitar ladder system. Just go to stevezookguitars.com, scroll down, and scroll down the home page and invest it. And get that get that augment rip. Put that under your finger. I'll go 2,500 on this guitar. I mean, it, I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it sounds just, it sounds so. Right, this, this guitar has got like an eight, ten thousand dollar sound. It's all solid wood combination of you know machine and, and, and hand dialing in the luthier I bought it from totally totally upgraded it with a kind of a de angelical style tailpiece the Benedetto pickup sounds unbelievable as you can hear 
uh, it's got low action. That you're not you're not going to want to lower the action. If anything, you might want to raise it up, so it's, you don't have to worry about that. But this is really a lot of guitar. The headstock is gorgeous, and it just you know it just really has a world world class sound. The improvise every day. Improvisation. It's going to give you an absolute. And I'll, and I'll challenge your self-esteem a little bit. Although as guitar players, we tend to all think that we're all that, we're, that what we do is so great, and that's good too. But at the same time, we got to keep thirsty. We got to keep a little humble. I mean, you know, I'm still learning and growing, and, and that's you know the the journey. Sometimes the journey is the goal. The progress. Always progressing and learning is part of the joy of playing guitar or any musical instrument, for that, or even being an artist or a painter or whatever. But like I said in the beginning of this video, it's another brick in the wall. You know, you gotta learn how to paint. You gotta learn how to hear, hear your more sophisticated musical ideas, ideas subconsciously, and then help them come out and play them on the guitar, even if it's just a little chunk or just a little piece. You know, uh, because eventually all that will come together. And all those little bricks in the wall will become musical consciousness. It's almost like you're developing a well, not almost you are. You're developing a subconscious musical mind, a musical ear, a musical folder that you're going to draw from. And even when you're sleeping, your 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 conscious uh, or your subconscious mind is comparing and contrasting. And the emails I get from people and the progress they've made is just amazing. But according to the science of neuroplasticity, don't focus on results because it slows you down. Make it fun. Make it a fun exploration and you can take an absolute fucking quantum leap. I know I shouldn't cuss so much. All right, folks, go to stevesguitars.com. Stop fighting it. Stop procrastinating. Nothing feels better than to move forward. And I get a, I get a lot of advanced players that order my system. I get a lot of intermediate, intermediate players. I've had people buy my system that have record deals, but they're smart. They want to keep growing and learning and evolving and becoming more interesting. And uh, it really works, folks. So go to stevesipguitars.com. Invest in $199. You're going to be really glad that you did. Order soon, and you're going to get some bonus material once we lay the foundation with some other material. And I don't send it all at once, a little bit at a time. But order soon. I'll enter you into the contest to maybe win a Washburn L5 17-inch wide jazz box. It's a nice guitar. All right, folks, take care. If you're interested in this or whatever, uh, you can email me, stevezook7 at yahoo.com. That's the number seven not spelled out. Or text me, 714-548-0385. Anyway, all right, folks, take care. The universe is unfolding in time, not unraveling. I know it's tough. The last couple of years have been tough on all of us, but... Uh, you know, let's just keep evolving and we're spiritual beings unfolding in time and uh, the universe is unfolding in time, not unraveling. And there's no such thing as impossible. Of course, you know, I'm 68. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to become a professional basketball player at 68. But within the realm of your life, whenever you're not quite sure about what's going on, trust the universe, trust in the wisdom that created you and always be open to possibilities. It's kind of the Captain Kirk philosophy believe in possibilities. All right. Take care. I love all you guys.